Absolutely. Me, why? I mean, you know, like this is like my Twitter buddy right here. You know what I'm saying? We talk wrestling and all that good stuff like that. It's oh. so cool. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know how wrestling is everything, right? That WWE. What? Now, did you see the tribute to Ultimate Warrior? You know, I didn't watch because I was. Still, I'm still pissed about um, <laughs> uh, WrestleMania. Like the streak is done over with. Like uh, Brock uh, Lesnar. Are you kidding me? I know, right? It don't make sense. That's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Should be some type of way about her. <laughs> You got my pressure up, right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Daniel, at least Daniel Bryan is champ, and that's all good. Okay. okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. I know, I'm right? Calling, I'm calling Wusa right now. I'm getting it back together. Well, let's talk celebrities undercover. Okay. Now, tell everybody that don't know a little bit about celebrities undercover and how you got involved in. Okay. Well, first of all, it's a you know a show that you know takes celebrities and um, disguise them with its prosthetic things. Wigs, uh, uh, whatever they, you know, you're in total disguise, and you are around people that are really fans, and you kind of get to find out if they, how much they like you. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we, which can be a little scary because you don't know what they're gonna say. Right. And uh, and you know, I mean, you do some kind of cool reveal at the, you know, at the end of everything. <laughs> but um, when it was brought to me, I, I was totally on board because you know I was excited to be able to do something like that. First of all, it's very different. There's nothing on, t- on TV like that right now. Right. And, um, you know, to, and to be able to, you know, like totally be in disguise and play pranks on people like that's right up my alley. So I loved it. <laughs> now, how did they have you dressed? Were you were you liking how they disguised you? Oh, yeah. Well, I had a, I had a fat suit on. What? And, yeah, I had the biggest size and butt ever. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> and I had boobs for days. What? <laughs> so was it an eye-opening experience for you to like really see the raw feelings that your your fans have for you? I'm gonna be honest with you, it, it it was really it really touched me in the most wonderful way to know that people have so much love for my group. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, no one said anything bad because I'm telling you, I was a little nervous. I was like, oh, Lord. Because you just don't know. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. You know, everybody doesn't like you, and that's okay. You know, that's what makes the world go round. But, um, and it's very difficult to be in a situation like that. And you got to hear someone say something bad about you, and it's like, how are you going to react? What do you do? You just play it off? Like, what? You know what I mean? So, to hear. The great, the, just the positive words from these these girls, and that are, you know, a lot of them are, um, shoot, they probably weren't. I know they weren't. Some of them weren't even born when we first came out. Right. <laughs> you know, and the fact that we've had such a great, you know, impact on people for the most part makes me feel really good. That's what's up, man. We're talking with Chili. Celebrities Undercover is coming up on Tuesday. And um, would you would you uh, suggest that people like celebrities, they need a little bit of that in their life? You know what? I mean, it's, to me, you do get it because most celebrities are on Twitter or something. Mm-hmm. You know, some kind of social network something and people let you have it you know what I mean but but to me those guys are just mean they would never even say it like that to your face right you know so but if, if, if it's constructive criticism and they say well you know I love such and such but you know if he was a little nicer to this or if they did it a little something like this a little bit more entertaining when they do this you know then that's that's all right mm-hmm. you know? And it still makes sting a little because, you, you know, like um, <laughs> like uh, uh, Erica Badu said where she was like, keep in mind I'm an artist and I'm sensitive yes. about my things. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you have to be. Yeah, that's real talk. So, you know, but um, yeah, but I think it would be a, a cool thing. That's what's up, that's man. That's awesome. Now, now uh, uh, tell us a little bit about the music. What's going on? Okay, well, um, well first of all, we've been, we've been touring. We've been having a lot of tour dates. We, just, uh, we were just in uh, Canada and... In um, Indiana, and now we are getting ready to launch our tour overseas. We're going to Australia. We've never been there actually. It's the first wow. time. Mm-hmm. And we're going to also, I think, in there and Japan, I think they're going to premiere the movie, our movie, Crazy Sexy Cool, the TLC story. Yeah. Yeah. So, and we're still, um, you know, finishing up getting songs together. It's just, it's not hits aren't easy to, to come by. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not. 
you can get songs and they're okay and they're cool and all that kind of stuff, but but those special ones, they don't they don't they don't come easy. Mm. Now is Lil Mama still touring with you guys? Um, she we had we worked with she didn't work with us when we did the VH1 um Super Bowl blitz, but um because we had you know other people, but um she we had her do some some songs with us this last couple of days, but she won't be with us overseas. No. Okay. Okay, that's what's up. That's yeah, that's not that. It's not like a permanent thing. Is we just kind of reach out to her and you know when you know her schedule permits to and uh, work together with her sometimes because it, it brings a nice element sometimes, like a little different change. All right, now are you still doing the uh, nutrition thing that you that you talk about on Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All She's like, like forever. Well, well, can you tell people about that? That slipping. I'm struggling. You know, it's April and my. My New Year's resolution got left in like March. <laughs> you know what? You can't see. What do you mean you're struggling? Like how? Talk to me, babe. What do you mean? Uh- it's just being consistent. You know, I, I work two jobs, so just trying to stay in the gym. And then sometimes if I forget to, you know, do my lunch for the week, then I have a couple of days where I ain't eating what I'm supposed to be eating just out of convenience. See you now. Well, you know what? I mean, this is what I found. Because, you know, even when you're on the road, it's hard to find places that, you know, have healthy foods. But you can get something healthy almost anywhere. Like... Like, if you go to Waffle House, you can get uh, egg whites, you know what I'm saying? Get your chicken breast. Mm. If you're going to do the hash browns, get them steamed, not not fried. Mm. And you, you see what I'm saying? And just stay away from those kinds of things. You just got to, you just have to do do it. Because you can still, you know, and, and it's still tasty. It's very good. but And it's not horrible for you. Um... But I, you know, you know, I have that website fitchili.com. You know, I'm, I'm uh, in the Beachbody family, and so I mean, it's so many different workouts. You know, because I'm not the type I don't like going to the gym. Like I work out at home, right? And um, and I feel more comfortable being at home by myself like that. And there are different things that when you're on the road or, or on the move, you know, you don't you don't necessarily have to go to the gym. You can do like three sets of um, uh, jumping jacks. Of, you know. Like set like thirty, you know what I'm saying? Three sets of thirty, and then do three sets of push up, and then do your sit up, and you've broken a sweat. You know what I'm saying? And then you just, and then drink a lot of water, and so you, and you've done it. You've had your workout. You don't feel horrible. So then when you have the time to go to the gym, you're not starting from scratch. There you go. Gotcha. Look at that. Fit Chili. No excuses. FitChili.com. Y'all go there, check it out. And uh, since we're here in Columbus, Chili, you got any shout outs you want to do before we let you go? Yeah, Ronald, Nelson, uh, my whole family, all my family that lives in Columbus, I love them so much. And um, just Columbus, Georgia, period, because that, you know, that's my hometown. There you go. And see that? Thank you so much for talking to us. We appreciate you, Chili. Thank you. Yeah. We can't wait to see you on Celebrities Undercover. Oh, I, I can't wait for you to see it. You're going to crack up when you see my crazy nose and the wig. It's hilarious. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chili. Have a good one. All right, you too. All right, later. Bye-bye. <laughs>